All right, here is Flipboard for Android. You know, so much for that Galaxy S3 exclusive. Uh, this is just the leaked version. It's not in the Android market yet, but if you follow the link in the article below, you'll get a chance to see it. Uh, now let's see what Flipboard does. Basically, for the people that don't know, this is a popular iOS app that's now on Android. Uh, it imports articles based on your interests. Like I see, I got a gaming section, a sports section, music news, etc. But it also imports based on the links that your friends are sharing on Facebook and Twitter. So if I tap on Twitter, it'll show me some of the really important status updates. I can go up and down. Let me go back. If I go on Facebook, it does the same thing. Uh, shows me some of the cool links that people are posting on Facebook, as well as some uh, some status updates that are gaining some traction. And you can respond, you can like, you can uh, add comments that way. But then you go to the cover story section. This is where you see more uh, articles or uh, more important stuff, things that are like uh, trending upwards within your social circle. Uh, and instead of scrolling, this actually flips. So when I go like that, it flips to the next section, goes like that. All right. Let me go back. And I'm going to flip back up. When I tap on an article, sometimes it pulls a uh, specially designed just to feed type of thing. But other times it loads their website because it, it's a truncated feed or it has some media content that you can only access on the web. Uh, if you do end up seeing something in an article, you know, you just scroll up. Some of them scroll, some of them flip, depending on how it was designed by uh, that curator. When I press menu, I can favorite it on Twitter, I can retweet it to my other followers, or I can press more, and I can share that link to open it in another app. I can view on the web, and if you notice, read it later, uh, the read later option, that's to send this to your queue on Instapaper, Pocket, or Readability. You know, it's a nice little feature. All right, I'm going to go back. Okay. All right, I see an article someone posted for the Washington Post. All right. And it's, it's basically just like that. You know, it's not a drastic depart departure from other concepts that we've seen for reading. It's all about the style that this presents it in, and it's a rather nice style. Uh, I can organize by technology, as you can see. Let me tap on something really quick. And I can go through, and I say, all right, I'm gonna read this article. And this is one of the situations where it loads the website rather than just the, the feed content. Aside from that, you can also control what you see. When I go to settings, uh, there's the read it later option, like I mentioned. But you also notice muted authors. In case there's someone that posts things that you don't want to see, you can mute them. Uh, and then if later on you want to take them off mute, you come here and they'll be listed. All right, when I tap the little red ribbon at the top corner, this allows me to see uh, what's popular. I can search for things. I can also sign up for an account by tapping this button right here. That way, all of your Flipboard uh, content will be available regardless of what device you use. So if you go on your tablet, it's not a tablet optimized mode yet, but if you want to scale it up, you can do that as well. Uh, if you go on your iPad, you can do that. Uh, and as accounts, this links with a lot of accounts. I've got my Twitter and Facebook, but I can also add Google Reader, LinkedIn, Instagram, Flickr, Tumblr, and 500px. So you can import a lot of content that way. Uh, this is a really cool app. Uh, you know, this is just the leaked version from the Samsung uh, Galaxy S3. I'm sure that some more things will come later, but for now, it's smooth. It has very nice transitions. Uh, it's simple. It's very stylish, and it's available uh, in the link below if you go to XDA uh, Developers Thread. This is Andrew from Adronica.com. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please subscribe.